Under America's so-called justice system, as of June 30, 2006, there were 1,556,518 prisoners in the United States, according to the 2008 World Almanac. In 2006, America's population was about 300 million. There were 1,417,000 violent crimes, about 10,000 property crimes, 17,034 murders, not to mention the 1 million babies, Planned Parenthood murders every year. There were 92,455 rapes, 447,000 robberies, 860,000 assaults, 2 million burglaries, and larceny was committed 6,600,000 times. Uh, larceny and robbery are bas basically theft, so I don't know why they had to separate those two out. And keep in mind that these numbers are convictions. It doesn't count those crimes that weren't reported, and doesn't count those where the criminal was not caught. Clearly our justice system is an utter fa failure. Here's a good f quote from a popular talk show host. It's no longer a justice system, it's just a system. The Bible swift, swift death penalty for capital crimes is loving and merciful, a gift from God. Swift execution or flogging considers not only the criminal and the victim but considers all people who could become a criminal. People generally will reconsider a crime if they know death is right around the corner for them. Similar to the saying, there are no atheists in foxholes. Which is worse for a mother, that their child become a murderer or be murdered? I say a child that becomes a murderer. The death penalty would deter a child from murder or other capital crimes. Deterrence is the key. We want our loved ones to not become criminals. If the death penalty only applied to one family in the whole country, whose family would you want it to be for? I would choose mine. There is only a small amount of fear for a person wanting to rape a woman when he knows that he may get just a few years to life in prison. If you were really mad and wanted to kill someone, would you be more afraid of prison, where you get a bed, three meals a day, and entertainment, get to play basketball, watch movies, or swift, painful death? I urge you to think of all the potential criminals out there. Love love them enough to discourage their fervor to do evil. Executions or flogging should be made public and put on TV. Potential criminals need to fear the government. Stoning is a good method because it is painful and relatively quick. We don't need to torture them, but we need to instill fear in potential criminals. But the death penalty doesn't work, someone is screaming. Quick, when was the last time a criminal was executed in your state? Unless you live in Texas, you probably have no idea. This is why it does not work. It is done years after the crime and rarely done anyway. God says in Ecclesiastes 8.11, Because the sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set into in them to do evil it's fully set in them to do evil probably within 24 hours of conviction the execution should take place swiftly so that the people would know what it is for so people would remember so that the victims and family can have closure now not 20 years from now Nowadays, if someone is to be executed, they wait years and years at the victim's and the taxpayer's expense, victimizing the victim twice. The number one cause of death for an inmate on death row is old age. 
Okay, just kidding. It is possible for a person to be falsely convicted of a capital crime, but countless innocent people die because of our current system. Let God do the calculations on what could happen. Even with false convictions, people would still be afraid to commit the crime. They would even be less inclined to hang out with bad people. Think of football player Ray Lewis. If the info I have is correct, he wouldn't have been hanging out with the thugs he was with during their crime and would have avoided all his trouble. Or in other people's cases, they could have, been, could have avoided false conviction. Also, a person should not be convicted by a committee, that is, a jury, because a jury is filled with people who don't know right from wrong, they don't know the law, and they are probably evil anyway. For Jesus made it clear that the majority is evil. Matthew 7:13, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. Many choose the broad gate, and few enter the narrow. And jurors are anonymous, they are, so they are not accountable for their actions. A judge should decide by examining two or three witnesses. Witnesses can be people or physical evidence, and the judge should be held accountable. The Bible records these crimes as capital crimes. Think about which ones you would not mind your child taking part in. Murder, kidnapping, deadly negligence, capital perjury, adultery, which is practically not even a crime anymore in this country when it used to be, sodomy, same deal, bestiality, incest, human sacrifice, manslaughter during a crime, and abortion. Abortion is the only right Americans have that they are ashamed to exercise. Some other criminals that should be executed include filthy pornographers like Hugh Hefner and drug dealers. Do some research. Look at Saudi Arabia's crime and murder rates. There's practically none. A place I'm pretty sure that still has the death penalty. Look at how much drug crime they don't have. Praise Jesus our Creator. Thank God for His love, mercy, and justice.